Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. The other battery charger that I was working on, the shower, it has died. I'm pretty sure I got two dead rectifiers on it. I looked up the price on the rectifiers. The box is not worth fixing. So I got out this other charger and it works. It charges just fine. It's actually a much better charger than the shower. This one's charging at a steady 13.8 volts, 13.9, 14 volts. So this battery is in good shape. It's already fully charged. I know it's okay. This tells me that it's in the charge range. It says the charge is okay. So I don't need to charge this battery anymore. And this battery charger is very, very nice. It's a Marquette model 33-109. One thing I'm having difficulty with, this Marquette battery charger is a battery tester charger. And this thing has a heating element in the back that when you connect the battery to it and set it up in test mode, it heats up that element and puts a load on the battery and let you know if the battery's good. The only problem is, the directions, the only instructions that I have are on the front of the panel. And this spot right here is missing. So from here on down, it becomes a bunch of gibberish because there's enough missing, it doesn't tell you what the results are supposed to be when you set up the, the buttons, and it doesn't tell you how to set up the buttons to do a test. I don't want to just start pushing buttons to see what happens because I can screw up a battery and screw up the charger. So if any of you guys know what a Marquette battery tester charger is supposed to do and how it's supposed to do it, or if you have the instructions that are missing on the front of this panel, I would be very appreciative if you let me know how it worked. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop it out in the comments. You know I read them all. And I really would like to know how this tester works. I have a battery that's in the tractor. It's not working right. And I'm thinking, okay, I should get it tested. And I can put it in the back of the truck and take it into O'Reilly's and have them check the battery. But it would be really cool to be able to do it here with this device that I already own. I picked this up out at the estate sale. It was $15. It weighs about 30 pounds. It's got a massive transformer in it. And I'm reasonably certain that the wiring works. But it would be nice to know what these letters actually are. I found a picture on eBay, but the picture was too corrupted to be able to read it. And buying another one just to be able to maybe read the plate just didn't seem to make any sense. So, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC.
Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.